private city vigil claiming to be in the Pulse nightclub when the attack happened. But now his presence at the scene is coming into question. I was on the when it all happened. When Clint Lampkin took the stage Saturday at the Rocket City Pride Memorial Service for Orlando and recounted his near-death experience in the Pulse nightclub, he was given a standing ovation and hugs from leaders on the stage. I mean, part of me, I mean, I think people get shot. But now there are questions into whether Clint was actually there. One of Clint's Facebook friends from his home state of Arkansas sent WHT News 19 this screenshot from Clint's Facebook page. You'll notice it's dated June 12th, the morning of the shooting, and says, quote, Glad I wasn't at that one. I spoke to Clint over the phone today, and he says his Facebook account was hacked and that he never made that post. He still claims that he was at the Pulse nightclub the night of the shooting, as he told us Saturday. Kind of just... I don't know, my mind was just gone. I asked him for additional details surrounding the night of the shooting today over the phone, and he gave me that same response, that the trauma of what he's witnessed has erased his memory. I did lose a friend that got shot, and it was pretty hard. I asked Clint the name of his friend who died inside the club. He says they had only known each other for a short time and that he didn't remember his name. You don't want to think that anyone would take advantage of that situation. And, uh, and quite honestly, like I'm saying, I don't know whether he did or not. Free to be CEO James Robinson says he's also fielded calls from individuals who claim Clint's story isn't true. I don't know anything about Clint. He's not affiliated with Free to Be, and he was not one of the planned speakers at the Rocket City Pride Memorial in Huntsville.